Hello and welcome to my very first video. I was just kind of bored and I thought, hey, why not just start a channel, you know? And so I thought I'd start with some Pokemon Essentials. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial today on how to make new abilities uh, in the game. And so if you're worried about need to know how to program, you don't need any programming knowledge, although I guess it would help, but you don't need to know anything, it's fine. And um, you're gonna need to have two. You're gonna need to have two programs. One RPG Maker XP, which does cost twenty five dollars, although it's very, very, very good program, and I, I recommend just getting it. You don't even need to make Pokemon games with it. You can make any kind of RPG game with it. And then there's also Pokemon Essentials, which is obviously the uh, Pokemon part. And so I'll put the link to both in the description. And I guess if anyone has any troubles installing them, let me know. I can probably help out with that. And so once you download both, um, you should have well, RPG Maker installed and Pokemon Essentials zip folder. And we're just going to extract that. Alright, so now we have the uh, zip folder extracted. We're just going to go into this folder. You can see everything in here. We don't need to know... Uh, we don't need to mess with anything yet, and don't be uh, intimidated by anything you don't know the meaning of. Um, we're actually going to open RPG Maker now. So we can just open up... Uh, you're going to want to go into the folder that you extracted from the zip, and you're going to want to open game.rxproj. It's just RPG Maker XP Project. I'm just going to open that. And this is like the uh, default um, game that the Pokemon Essentials team have uh, put together just so you can kind of get to know what's going on. And um, so now we're going to actually mess with these things. And so we're going to go into the PBS folder right here. And we're going to open two of the text files. One of them is abilities.txt and the other is the Pokemon.txt. Now I'm going to use Notepad++. You can use Notepad can use whatever you want really. I like Notepad++. And uh, so first of all, we're going to make a new ability. Um, and I'm going to start with something easy. So we're basically just going to uh, take it Intimidate. Intimidate. Okay. And we're going to change it a bit. So instead of lowering attack like it does now, we're going to make it lower special attack. So we're going to scroll to the bottom. You can see uh, the last ability there is 164, so we're going to press enter. We're going to paste and intimidate. We're going to change this number to 165. And now we've got to name our ability. I'm going to name it Distract, I think. Yeah, that seems good. Makes sense. Distract. So, there you go. Just um, first thing, just in all uppercase, then second. Is how you want it to appear and so then we're gonna have the description and we're just gonna change this to special attack there we go so we can save that and we can move on to oh I oh I've opened the wrong thing my bad guys I meant to open this sorry if that caused any confusion this is what I meant to open um, so here is where you can edit Pokemon and so if I was to give the distract ability to anyone, I guess I would maybe give it to like a, maybe a Psyduck or maybe even Lantern because because of the uh, bright light. Um, but just for the purpose of this video, I'm going to give it to Abra and you will see why soon. So I'm just going to take away his two abilities and put in distract and make sure to have it in all caps. Alright, I'm going to save that as well. So now we've defined the ability and we've given it to a Pokemon. However, the ability doesn't actually do anything yet. So this is where we need RPG Maker. So what you're going to do is you're going to go up to Script Editor up here. You're going to click that and we're going to go down to Poke Battle underscore Battler. Now this is where a lot of um, a lot of the abilities can be found. And so we just get yeah, the Intimidate's already in there. We're just going to search for Intimidate. Here it is, here is the code for Intimidate, or at least most of it. And so all we're going to do is copy and paste 
right under. It's a lot of, it, copy and pasting is pretty much a lot of what programming actually is. And we're just going to change all the um, intimidates to distract. Uh, yeah, distract. And any more? Uh, here's one. Distract. Okay, so currently, um, when a Pokemon's thrown out, it's going to trigger the ability and it's going to cause this thing right here. Uh, PB, uh, P Poke Battle, Reduce Attack, Stat Distract. However, we haven't defined what this is, but that is very easy to do. We're just going to go to Battler Effects. We're going to look for Intimidate again. It's right at the bottom. Here we are. And this is the code for actually lowering the um, stats of the Pokemon. And it may look like a lot, but it's actually, when, once you actually look through it, it's not that much. So again, we're just going to copy paste, um, change Intimidate to Distract. And most of this is just, um, for instance, what happens when uh, you throw your Pokemon out against a Pokemon that has Contrary. Or Clear Body, Hyper Cutter, White Smoke. That's what most of this is, so we don't actually have to worry about it. Besides, Hyper Cutter, uh, we need to get rid of this because Hyper Cutter um, stops the lowering of a Pokemon's attack. We're no longer doing that. We are lowering the Pokemon's special attack, so we're just going to get rid of that. And I think that is most of it. And the last thing we have to change is this right here. We're just going to change this to SPATK. We've done it now. I think that's it. Um, we're going to press apply, press OK. And we're going to press this uh, green triangle up here, play test, and it's going to yes save everything and it's just going to compile all our code it's going to process all the lines it's going to tell us if we have any errors all right so i've launched up the game um you're going to start upstairs we're just going to go down you need to grab the pokedex before we can give ourselves an abra to test our um, new ability and we're just going to hit escape go down to debug and this is where you can really test all your um programming we're going to click add Pokemon, and oh wow, I've made a mistake here. I was, <laughs> I thought it was alphabetical. I remember it being alphabetical. It doesn't seem to be. So next time I'll remember to um, make that, not Abra, but rather um, Bulbasaur. It's my bad. Um, there we go. We... Got the Abra now. Oh, we'll, uh, we'll check if he actually has the ability. And there you go, Distract lowers the foe's special attack stat. Um, he's actually adamant, which is horrible. Luckily, this is not a Nuzlocke. But we're going to go up here and see if the ability crashes our game, which hopefully, if we've done everything right, it won't. And here we go. Bam. Look at that. Abra's Distract lowered the Wild Judo, du, do Duo's special attack. And uh, there we go. That's it. That is how you make an ability. Um, if you guys, well, first of all, if you like the video, please like, comment, subscribe. I should be doing more content. I'm not really sure. I've just started out. Sorry if there was anything like low production or anything kind of crappy about the video but yeah let me know if there's anything else you want to see like for instance if you if you want a video on actually installing these programs if you want a video on how to make new moves edit pokemon uh, map making maybe um just anything to do with pokemon essentials not even most mostly just anything pokemon really um let me know i will see if I can do it. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching guys and hopefully I will see you later.